Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the Elementor video series. In this video, I'll show you a new feature included in the Elementor Pro latest version. Using this feature, you can copy an element or the section or the template from one website to another website. So even though both the websites are running on different domains, you can copy an element from one website to another website. Usually you can copy an element, image, a section or template within the website from one page to another page, from one post to another post. Now using the new feature, you can copy the elements or the section directly from one website to another website, even though they are running on different domains. So let me show you how does this work. So here I have two dummy websites, both are running on the same domain. However, both are using different WordPress and both are using the latest Elementor Pro 3.11 plugin. So this is one website and this is another website. Now I'll show you how to copy from one website to another website. So let's go to edit with Elementor for this home page. I'm going to copy one section from this website to this another website. So I have one demo page here and I'm going to paste it on this demo page. Now let's try to copy this section, this entire section. Here you will see background image is there and here you will see three different images and some text and some links. So we are going to copy this section. Let's go to this website where we are going to copy and let me show you the media library for this website first. So we do not have these images on this website. So these images will also be copied from this website. So highlight this section, right click on it and go to copy. So now we have copied the entire section. Now let's go to this website, right click on it. And here you will see the option paste from other side. So here you have two different options, paste and paste from other side. So the first one is within the website and the second one is from other website. So I'm going to click on it, paste from other side. Now you need to press the keys Control and V. If you are using Mac, then you can use Command plus V. So I'm going to use Control V. Now it is pasting the elements on this another website. It may take some time because maybe it is copying the images also. Now here you can see that the entire section has been pasted. You can see the background image is also there and these are the three images. Here you can see the background image. These three images are here and the button is also here. However, the button looks different than the original one because it is using the style settings of this website. Now let's see, I'm going to update it and let's view the page. Yes, you can see the background image is there. If I move the cursor, you can see the link is also there. However, it is pointing to the page which should be on this website, not from the other website. Now let's go to media and refresh it. Now here you can see that these images are also copied to the new website. You will see these images here. So it is going to copy the media files also. Now let's go back and let's try to copy another section here. This one is using WooCommerce and this one is also using WooCommerce. We will try to copy the WooCommerce products also and we will see if that works. Here I have a section where you can see the blog post. So I'm going to try this one, highlight it, right click on it, copy it. Let's go back here. I'm on the demo page. Now here, right click, paste from other side. And when you get this message, control plus V, after that, you have to use the control plus V, not before selecting the option paste from other side. So I'm going to use control plus V. Okay, so you can see the recently added blog posts are also here. Let me update it. Let's refresh the page. Scroll down and you will see the blog post also here. However, the blog posts are not exactly same that you have here. It has taken the blog post from this website, not from the other website. So actually it has added the post elements to this website. And it has taken the blog post from this particular website, not from the other website. 
Now let's try to add the products section. So I'm going to right click on it, copy it, go back to this website, right click on it, paste from the other side, press Ctrl plus V. It is showing the section here. Let's update it, refresh it. And you can see the recently added products it is taking the WooCommerce products from this website only, not from the other website. So it is actually copying the settings of the element. It is not actually copying the WooCommerce products from the other website and the blog post from the other website. It is going to show the blog post and the WooCommerce products of the same website, not from the other website. Now if I refresh this entire page, you will see the blog post from this side and the products from this side. Actually, it is copying this element, the edit products. Now, both the websites are using WooCommerce. If you are copying the elements, the WooCommerce elements from the other website, then you need to have WooCommerce plugin installed on this new website also. So using this new feature added to the Elementor Pro plugin, you can copy an element or the section from one website to another website. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.